Hey guys, I'm Mike Avalis here and I'm back with another story, another video, another vlog, whatever you call it. And yes, welcome to the second part of our series, Engagement and Wedding. Wow, parang church service yung introduction ko. Anyways, for those people who have watched it, thank you very much. And for those who haven't watched yet, please make sure to watch it. The link is in the description box below and of course give your girl some love subscribe to my youtube channel so today let's talk about the wedding preparation and i'm gonna tell you how i and Ruth prepare the wedding and of course i'm gonna give you some tips and advice even though you're not engaged yet and for those who are engaged well this topic is really perfect for you. So question, what's the average length of engagement for couples? Well, the duration of your engagement is ultimately up to you, but survey says that the average length of engagement is 15 months. But as for me and Ritz, it's less than 15 months, it's less than a year, nine months to be exact. And another challenge is we are in a long distance relationship, so we were planning the wedding apart from each other. So after he proposed to me in October 2018, we started planning the wedding in December 2018. Tip number one, before anything else, pick a date on when you want to get married. It will be easier for you to communicate or speak to your suppliers if you have a date in mind already. And in picking a date, you should consider a lot of things like if it's rainy, summer or if you want your anniversary boyfriend and girlfriend anniversary date to be your wedding date as well as for me and ritz we want our boyfriend and girlfriend anniversary date to be our wedding date as well so even if it's august and rainy he risked it and since we were not physically together during that time and both of us were not in the philippines we knew in our hearts and our minds that we need a full wedding planning and coordination. So in December 2018, we booked m and events by Lucia. Tip number two, decide what type of wedding venue you want for your wedding and of course your budget. Do you want it in church or garden? or beach or hotel or restaurant or wherever you want it to be it's up to you to decide it's important for you to decide what type because it will help you narrow down your options as for us our initial plan was to have a beach wedding but my mom told me that um if it's beach wedding of course you can't control the noises around you like the waves the trees the birds and all this stuff that's why we decided to have a garden wedding instead and yes it's an altar it's august yes rainy season yes we knew and again we risked it in january 2019 we booked the venue and take note i haven't seen the place in person the reason why we booked it even though we haven't seen it yet in person when i search like even you if you search in the internet the best places to get married in the philippines one of those that will appear is nara hill Tip number three, create a vision board for your wedding. It's really important to have that vision board so you can actually figure out and see what you really want. Like the theme, the motive, the decorations, your gown, your cake, and a lot of things. And I suggest that you download Pinterest because there's a lot of wedding ideas in Pinterest. guys i really wanted exunta to be our wedding band because they're my favorite band up until today actually hindi pa sila sikat before kilala ko na sila i booked them back was 2015 nung nas nag aaral pa ako sa fe i met them in person na but unfortunately um, we were close to booking them but I and Ritz have decided not to book them because it's not practical for 45 minutes to pay six digits so yeah we erased them in the picture and I'm glad that we booked the right one and I've also created vision board for 
every other details of my wedding because I really wanted to show the suppliers my expectations and what output I want to see. I'm so keen to details. Tip number four, make sure to have a schedule tracker so that you will not miss anything. Even the smallest details, you have to put it in there. Like you have to put there your deadlines when you have to pay someone or when you have to meet someone. And most importantly, you have to create a budget tracker so you can easily track how much you spend already or how much you still need to spend or if you're over the budget. Number five, create a great team. I and Ritz were really thankful for our family and friends. They help us throughout the wedding preparation. Number six, create group chats on Facebook. Maximize the use of Facebook because everyone is in Facebook now. And what I did was I have created a lot of group chats in Facebook. I have named the group chats according to the supplier's name and our wedding. And also I have created a logo for each supplier's. Tip number seven, always have a plan B. It's really important to have a plan B in every aspect of your life. Since we risked the Maulan season for an outdoor ceremony, I knew in my heart that there are chances na uulan. So, four months before the wedding, we booked a tent. So, we told them na gamitin or hindi, babayaran. So, we technically booked the tent as a standby. And I told them that I'm gonna decide whether we will use it or not on the day of the wedding. Like, in the morning of the wedding. And I'm glad we did because on the day of the wedding, 6 a.m. in the morning, it was raining real hard. See, it's good to have plan B. But in every event, you will miss something. And what we missed, yung putik. Tip number eight, find time to meet the suppliers so you will know if they're legit or not. Well, as for me and Ritz, since we were so far away from the Philippines, but we decided that I should go to the Philippines months before the wedding so that I could meet the suppliers. So in April 2018, I went to the Philippines and I really had a great time meeting the suppliers. So preparation season that's where surprises kicks in July 21st, we had our shoot with Wonderlust Films. In July 24th, we had our wedding prenup in Muntingubad. And I'm really thankful for Kuya Aryan. The result was amazing. The wait is over. The time is over.
August 1st, 2019, we had our wedding rehearsal. But before our wedding rehearsal, I and Ritz went to Nara Hill, just the two of us. And we did a prayer walk there to pray for the venue and the wedding. And to be honest, the focus of our prayer is Cindy Umulan on the wedding day. But above all, what we're rallying in prayer during that time, they will not see me and Ritz, but they will see how faithful and how wonderful God is in our lives. That it's not about how beautiful and how grand the wedding is, but God's love, purely God's love. And that moment is really priceless because like pray kami dun sa stage kung saan kami mag do but hindi namin nagamit on the wedding day because umulan nga. But still, I'm thankful. At least we uh, had a chance to use that platform and encounter God before anything else, before we say I do, got the chance to have a date, our last date as singles in Tagaytay. And yes, wedding preparation is the most stressful part. Nagiging bright sila ha, and marami iyak, maraming sleepless nights, and maraming questions, and a lot of things going on. And one thing I learned during the preparation, it may be stressful, but you have to enjoy it. Wedding planning is supposed to be fun and exciting, so don't worry about disappointing a relative or kung ano sasabihin ng tao. At the end of the day, it's your wedding, it's your call, and it's not there. So enjoy planning and remember that it will all work out in the end. And that's it for today's vlog. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and comment on this video. Till the next story time or video or vlog, whatever you call it. And see you in the next part of the series. Bye!